been tagged by the Boondockers. Uh, it's a, a van tag, what's going around for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, it's uh, generic questions. Say that right then. Say it on Twitter. Yeah, uh, which was started by uh, Pebbles and uh, Peach, uh, uh, her channel. And basically, it's uh, 10 questions uh, about van life, basically. Is and I think it was the type of questions what she would like to hear, but I think it's the type of questions what everybody uh, might That's want right. to you know know about. But before I begin, I'd like to introduce to his new recruit, say, say hello to Parker. When he turns round? Yeah. Say hi! He's, uh, hi, he's not live like today. Hi, Bella! He's a uh, four month old, uh, cross between a uh, Jack Russell and a uh, Chihuahua. 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 Well, we think he looks like a bit of a fox. Well, well, we'll show you the videos and the pictures at the yeah. end. You'll see what we mean when you say he looks like a fox. Uh, especially you take him out at middle of the night and it's like well alert, and he's like he is pricked up, uh, yeah, walking every so often, stopping, looking like a fox does. You know. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get on to these questions here. Right, here we go. So, number one, what is the make and model of your van? Do you know what our van is? Nah, ma 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 ma. <laughs> Can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Vauxhall uh, extra long wheelbase uh, Mavano uh, 2012. Uh, probably about I don't know a foot, a foot, foot and a half bigger than your your long wheelbase. Uh, even though, because we're, we're in it, people say oh, it looks big, that doesn't it? And it uh, it but, feels tiny to us. Yeah, I don't know. You, you get used to it, don't you? And. Uh, you know, it's, you think, oh, I could do with something bigger as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, uh, yeah, uh, 2012 uh, van, we said that, then, uh, there's an old, yeah, uh, I don't know, 2.3 or something like that engine. I don't know, to be honest, it moves. It's got four wheels. Well, it's actually ah, it's you should have said it's got four wheels. It's got six. Yeah, right. Two, how long did it? Uh, did your van take to build? <coughs> it took uh, four weeks. Uh, four that's week the basic. That's basic. But it's a, yeah, well, it, it, cosmetic, you know, is in where you because as you go along, you're doing stuff, right? You? But no, to make it livable, it took four weeks. We give four weeks where we were living. So I had to build the bed, uh, the kitchen uh, area, and stock cooker, etc. So, but it's evolved as we've gone along. Uh, we've actually uh, we wallpapered it initially. I mean, it's cladded <laughs> now. We wallpapered it and twice. We, twice, yeah. We, we redecorated, so we pulled everything out. The first first wallpaper was like a wood effect, like a wood effect. effect. We've actually got a little bit of it left on uh, on that wall just there. Uh, what you're barking at? But then we uh, ripped everything out, didn't we? And then re wallpapered as you do, you know, like when you've got an house, you just redecorate your room. That's what we did. Yeah. And then eventually have uh, have cladded it, or I should have said I've just slapped up some wood. Yeah, and botched it. <laughs> botched it alright. Yeah, I've lost myself here, so where, where am I? Question three, where has been your favourite place to stay in your van? To be honest, it would be, where did we say, uh, Cornwall and Wales? Yeah, uh, Cornwall, that's, uh, I, I, I yeah. like Cornwall. Though East Coast, I mean, we're here now, we're living here permanently now, but uh, when we're in Leeds... We're, it used to be our favourite place. Yeah, we're always over here. It's drivable, it's an hour, an hour and a half away at most, really. But Cornwall, definitely. Uh, oh, which would be as well. Yeah. Uh, right then. Where has uh, been the worst place you've stayed in your van? Leeds. Yeah, she says Leeds, but I always say, uh, you know, a particular place. It's, it's some parts of Leeds were alright, some parts, you know, you just didn't, didn't like it. Uh, you used to stay near a factory, a uh, bottle factory, and uh, you had noise of that. Uh, you used to stay near a marina, which was, uh, what type of place was that? Dogging site. It was a dogging site. We didn't know initially. Until we know. found out. Yeah. But that, it, was, it was quite funny, because you, you used to get cars uh, to park up at side, you know, they there ages and ages, and they're probably thinking... Oh, when it's bloody action starting waiting for that little that little movement of that van and then it's like no, it never happened like <laughs> 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 but it was a uh, yeah apparently it was a dodgy area uh, right then how many people have you had in your van at one time depends how much we charged 
<laughs> yeah, we tried charging 50 quid, but yeah. nobody took it up. <laughs> You're not the doggy side. <laughs> no, uh, we've had... Uh, 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 dockers were early, weren't they? You know. They're the first people that was in our yeah. van. Uh, and we didn't actually have uh, proper seats then. I've got two two seats now, we can just barely and dog. Uh, Back then in. it was a bit more cramped, wasn't it? So mm, yeah, early, I didn't properly build any uh, seats. I did initially for the pictures for DVLA, but then I got this fridge and I pulled the seat out, didn't I? I just used the fridge yeah. as a seat or I used my camp chair. So uh, so we had them two in a little one. Yeah. Uh, their little one. <laughs> Uh, Last yeah. Christmas it was. Not really anybody else has been in. Most people yeah. just stand there and like stick their head and go, ooh, he's nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> don't say it like that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, right, question six. Yeah. Have you had any van disasters? Yeah, skylights leaking quite a few times. <laughs> Down with me and all. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, all your fault. But worst oh of all, though, they don't happen during the day. It's in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. They oh, always yeah, yeah. happen in the middle of the we night. We had it for a while because I've uh, touched wood. So that we don't know. Touch wood. Uh, I've uh, rectified it anyway. I've happened for ages now, has it? No, but it's when I first uh, first did it. Uh, I, don't know, I used uh, sticker flex and. And you bonding stuff. I tell you, yeah, there's there's, there's more stuff held uh, that skylight together than the Titanic, but then again, Titanic went down, didn't it? So, mm. yeah, uh, uh, but maybe to use all that stuff, it's it? weird, isn't it? Water will find the tiniest, tiniest little high hairline fracture thing and it'll just get through, won't it? And it just is. I, I'm so scared of my head how it went through, but going, and, anyway, what I've did in end, I uh, well, apart from sticking more stuff up there i uh got some type of like uh like felting type of stuff mm. so i've like bumped sides like that and then painted it and uh, like that <laughs> yeah like that <laughs> yeah. anyway it's had happened for a while so yeah oh brake calipers oh god in Malcolm. yeah more come that way home. so that'd been september that wasn't it, yeah, it after wedding that, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, that that were costly we was uh ats in morkham don't use were they older? Uh, Literally all day. All day from it opening till it was shutting. And it was cold as well. We had nowhere to go. Yeah. And then in end, they told me to go to, uh, uh, that it could be something else, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I ended up going to Leeds and sort of like rectifying his mistake. Bod's job. Yeah. In the end, anyway, it cost me 800 quid, didn't it? Break. I think it, it actually ended up being more than that. Right. Because you've got to the second time when we went in Leeds to get that sorted out. No, that's what I mean when we went to Leeds, it, yeah. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah, it costs too much. Around about that anyway, so... Uh, though, people's had worse breakdowns, haven't they? I suppose. Uh, right, uh, question seven. What is your favourite feature of the van? My comfy bed. I think everyone would say Because now I can chill and look out the window and lay down. Yeah, because uh, what I've done is I've, uh, I've done away with cupboard. I should have said cupboard doorway and uh, just to open it up a bit more and then so she can sort of like during the day like sprawl at the end across the bed and sort of like see out of this window. Mm. Mine's here because it's where I am now. Uh, I'm just actually overlooking Harper here so you can just chill out here. Mm. Uh, what is your least favourite part about van life? I say it's summer because it gets too warm. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind it that much because you have fans going in the USB. No, it's really. Really yeah, I wish I'd have put one of them extractor fans up or whatever they're called. Uh, it's winter, you can get warm, you just take your heat yeah. on your phone. Uh, mine, I say, I don't know, I think luxury having a bathroom, really. Oh, no, yeah, private toilet. Yeah. Uh, though it's the uh, Jerry Summer, it's not as bad as uh, as last van. Do you remember the, uh, the minibus one uh, conversion? That was nice because it had a little. Well, it you was think, warm in there. It warm. But that was nice because it had yeah. a nice hot in the what, bathroom. Right, it was that hot in this van, honestly, right? You could go to Lidl, buy a chicken, slap it in, yeah, go for a walk and it'd be cooked. Yeah, that's how yeah. warm it was. It, it was absolutely horribly hot. Yeah, the, it sleep was a greenhouse. Two hours a night we used to sleep. Mm. Right. Like uh, we've done that one. Question nine What is your favourite part about van life? Not having any rent to pay. <laughs> yeah, get rid of your idiot neighbours. Yeah. Though I've got like I call van rent because I've got it. Uh, I've I've got it on finances. So, but it's not 
obviously it's expenses of running a house. We've worked it out actually. Uh, for a certain budget of renting a property, and then your council tax, your water, and your, uh, your gas and your electric, etc. We've worked it out that it costs you probably about 650 a month. That's like renting a property around about, what, 400, 425 or something like that, or five, mm -hmm. is it? Something like that, anyway. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, my payments on this is 185 uh, a month. Uh, but yeah, just travel, just just sort of like moving around. You, you you get bored of somewhere, don't you? View you just sort of like move, you know. Uh, you know. That's what I like about the kind of the freedom. Even though we're not travelling, we would like to travel, but we're not fortunate enough to have the uh, let's say the skills to be able to work uh, uh, out on the road is an online. Uh, so uh, I'm not brainy enough for that. <laughs> I don't know, you see, I've seen that, some people make stuff on the road, they don't know, they don't I'm not good make stuff and sell stuff, so there's all yeah. sorts of different, you know, a lot of people do internet based now, uh, I think Gadget John, I think he works, uh, he works from home like, but he can do it all on the move and on his laptop and that. Uh, there's a few doing it that way these days, so I suppose, I don't know, maybe if we train or whatever, I don't know. Uh, right, what is it? Yeah. Was that what is your least favourite or was that your favourite? I forgot. Favourite. Oh no, yeah, that was your favourite, wasn't it? Uh, right, yeah, any tips for those about to embark uh, in their van life adventure? Uh, mine is uh, where I'd say if you've got a van, if you've already got it and you're thinking about it, uh, sort of like do a bit more research. Try to find the, 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 you know, the, uh, the pros and cons to it because there's a lot of videos out there where it kind of like glorifies it. You know, all the videos are... You know, he's in the, I don't know, the sun setting and, you know, sort of like uh, uh, running on the beach with a dog. <laughs> 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 you know, uh, and uh, it's sort of like, it doesn't kind of like show you the, the, the uh, maybe, you know, uh, the negative side, side to it. Like, mm. uh, I don't know, like getting up in the morning, it's absolutely freezing or something. We don't have a log burner. We have a diesel eater. Yeah, I definitely uh, get one of them, either one. Yeah, yeah, get a diesel heater. Uh, log burner, I don't know, I keep, I keep thinking, oh, should have had one. The reason, my reason in being not to get one is because uh, when we was living in Leeds doing it, having a log burner, you've got a chimney, it's putting out smoke, it's advertising the fact that you're, you're not exactly stealthy, are you, when you've got smoke coming out of your van, you've got fire brigade knocking on the door then. Uh, but yeah, if you've already got a van, maybe spend a month in it two months in it you know you've still got your house and haven't you you aren't giving everything up but you know and, and, think, realize you yeah, like and then realize you don't like it and then you ain't got out to go back to uh i mean if you don't have one obviously you know there's plenty of youtube videos or research and that uh just uh try to find you know the uh you know the downside to it as well but there's a big plus side to it as well you know uh good van life community now uh obviously you're watching this video you know, there's, uh, with us, there's loads now out there, uh, and there's loads out there who are doing uh, uh, videos, so, you know, there's a, a big community of uh, van lifers now. Uh, I'd probably say more so in America, uh, but I'd say it's growing, it's growing here, so, yeah. So, that was, uh, that were all questions, wasn't it? I think we could have, yeah, could have been more questions, but, uh, but ten, ten is enough. Uh, right, we need to tag three other people don't we i pick retro renovations retro renovations oh yeah yeah the couple yeah, yeah. i forget where they are now anyway we saw we saw it can't quirky and uh, uh they're a nice couple uh second second uh Wally Cod Wanderers. yeah that's it yeah yeah uh Wally Cod Wanderers, uh graham they're not 100 percent full Jane. time but they're always in the van yeah uh and he's, he's built his van uh and he's got a youtube video as well so check their channel out uh he's on a cracking build of his van very professional not like <laughs> mine <laughs> and uh thirdly uh i'm just trying to think now in from america yeah, uh, Van City Van Life. He's over in Canada. No, he's not America. Oh, right, if you said to a Canadian in America, and tell him he'd shoot you. Uh, yeah, he's in America, uh, and he's uh, full time okay. in his van with uh, with uh, crews. Uh, he's, yeah, he's a bull. What's in English? Bulldog, lovely dog. Oh, I don't know. I don't know 
so many dogs. <laughs> yeah. So there's this, uh, there's this three tags. Uh, catch you all guys later anyway, and uh, after this we'll probably throw some videos of uh, Parker being a bit more uh, lively. Yeah. Look like he's, you know, yeah. like he wants to sort How we got up, how we came with the Parker name anyway. I, anybody watch Gold Rush? Uh, it's uh, basically about these uh, these miners in the uh, Alaska Klondike, I think it area is. Klondike, and, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, cut a long story short. Right at the beginning of the series, there's this particular young miner where he's uh, he's kind of like being taught his trade by his granddad. And his granddad, uh, yeah, like in his nineties, one day, and he had yeah. one of them like really, you know. Uh, like granddad voice, he's like, I love you, Parker. Oh, you make me so proud, Parker. You know, and I just sort of like loved that voice. And now we used to say, Parker. Anyway, so I decided to name his dog Parker. Parker. Yeah, so just it's so like when you stroke, he goes, Oh, I love you, Parker. <laughs> <laughs> when it went dog, just pulls the funny faces, to, huh? Yeah, but you're getting used to it now. We've only had him, uh, well, a week on Wednesday on Christmas mm. Eve, innit? So, yeah. As I say, in the dog's not just for Christmas, there should be some left on Boxing Day. <laughs> anyway, you catch you all guys good. later. Bye. Bye. Come on, come on, come on.